Welcome to the instructional video on using drugs in pregnancy and lactation, also known as Briggs. This book is definitely one of the more specific drug information print resources that you use, particularly in the PSA series. As you can tell from the title, it's going to be specifically oriented towards interactions that are going to occur with drugs, including some over-the-counter, some other things related to pregnancy risk as well as risk for lactating and breastfeeding mothers. Now, the first thing I could advise is there's a very good section at the front of the book that talks about using this reference guide. It's a good idea at least to thumb through this because there are some sections where they talk about ratings and whatnot that are going to be important for you to understand fully when you glance at them as far as the actual monographs are concerned. So look through and see what they talk about. Each monograph that you encounter is going to have a fetal risk summary, a breastfeeding summary, as well as recommendations. It gives a very specific definition of each of their different types of recommendations, so what they're based on, because when you look, in each of the monographs you're going to have a very simple bar at the beginning that's going to give you sort of a, a bottom line recommendation, and this tells you what each of these individual single sentences means. So look through these, and if you have trouble with it when you get into the monographs, of course, refer to this at the front of the book. It also talks about, of course, pregnancy risk factors, but you'll see as you go through this there's a little bit more to it than that. You'll see occasionally that within this book they'll talk about, um, they'll have subheadings underneath each of the risk factors. If you see here, there's, there's an M, so you might see a CM. You may also see asterisks and things like that that, that accentuate existing known risk factors, and this tells you what they mean when they're giving you additional information about pregnancy risk factors and categories. So make sure if you have questions about that, you consult the front of the book. Now, the monographs themselves are simple. They're straightforward. Um, they're organized alphabetically uh, by uh, generic name. They're going to give you basic information in this little colored bar at the beginning, so you've got your fetal risk and breastfeeding uh, risk recommendations and the basic pregnancy risk factor. It's going to give you also a good monograph that the, the real purpose of the monograph here is almost as a review article. The nice thing about this book is, is that you can really look anywhere to get pregnancy risk factors. And one of the things to keep in mind about this book is, is that this is in no way going to be a complete um, you know, 100% every drug that's out there, it's not going to give information about that entirely. If you need to look up general pregnancy categories, by all means go to a more complete, more generic reference, either online or something in print like Facts and Comparisons or the HFS. What this is doing is it's taking individual interactions that are known where there's a good amount of scientific data, that is to say, from the primary literature behind this and actually going through and giving you a nice, almost a review article about what's happened. And it runs down all the various studies that were done, and it synthesizes and gives you a rundown of all that information, and makes it in a, in a small sort of digestible place. So you've got all the things that are related to the risk factor and the recommendations that were given here. So if you want to read further, you can see in general all the studies that were done. That continues on in the summary. You see also the breastfeeding summary. And you see that each one of the monographs, one of the nice things is that it includes a nice um, bibliography at the end. So if you want to see the references that are available, you can actually go ahead and look these up on your own. There are plenty, there's plenty of information, and a new edition of this comes out every couple of years. So it may not be the absolute most cutting edge, edge current stuff, but at least this will give you a place to start in the primary literature if you need to look further about this stuff. There are a couple of appendices. If you want to look up, for some reason, by specific pharmacological category, by therapeutic category, you can look up all the things that are listed in this book under that. And of course, there's an index in the back that will give you generic information about either by generic or by uh, brand name. You can look things up that way. If you have any problems or questions finding this book or dealing with it, by all means, ask a librarian or ask one of your pharmacy professors. And thanks for watching.